Let's take uh, one more example of uh, circular motion. Uh, but let's discuss uh, some things before we move on to this example. Um, we know that during a circular motion, let's try to make a better circle. If a particle is moving, let's say it's tied. There's a there's a stone which is tied to a string, and this is going in circles at a constant speed. Then we know from uh, free body diagram that as this object is constantly falling towards the center, its uh, velocity, which is always tangential to the circle is constantly changing and this change is towards the center of the circle and hence there is a corresponding acceleration A which is called the centripetal acceleration and A we know is V square over R where V is the velocity at any time and R is the radius of the circle and this we know is centripetal acceleration and this acceleration is being provided uh, this uh, this acceleration is provide should be provided by a force and uh, the force is actually the tension so we see we have this object if you do draw a free body diagram this guy is moving like this uh, the force is nothing but tension acting like that and because of this there is an acceleration v square over r so that's that's pretty much understandable but let's do one thing if we let's say if we jump in the frame of the stone let's say we jump in the frame of the stone all the time the stone can just see the center all it can see is how far it is away from the center it really cannot see the circular part of the motion all it can see is that how far the stone is from the center so if you sit on the center uh, if you sit on the stone you will see that I you will see either this length increase or length decrease so but uh, for this particular case because radius is constant anyone sitting on the stone will actually see that this length r is constant all the time so just to reiterate someone sitting on the stone and the stone performing the circular motion will observe that he is at a fixed distance always at a fixed distance from the center which means according to him he is at rest he is at rest in his own frame and so if he is at rest in his own frame then uh, if you t if you ask him he should uh, tell that the net force acting in his frame should also be zero but he knows there's a tension acting there's a tension acting from the string and the force becomes the net force becomes zero because he also observes a force which acts like this so in his frame he sees tension and this other force um, you can do this experiment um, you, you you will see that if you sit in a car and your car is going in a in, in a circle you will see that you feel you will feel that you're being thrown away thrown out of the window um, as the car travels in a circular motion so this is nothing but this particular force and here t is nothing but same as mv squared over r so the net force t minus mv squared over r is nothing but zero so the net force is zero for the object uh, for the guy sitting on the stone because for him r is a constant now this force is actually called the centrifugal force So centripetal force is the term we use when we are in the earth's frame in the earth's frame and centrifugal force is the term used for the same force 
which is mv squared over r but here we are in the uh, body's frame the centripetal acceleration acts towards the center but centrifugal force acts away from the center right so this is the base this is the understanding for centrifugal force so let's solve a problem on this let's say uh, let's take an example let's say you have a string let's say you have a string and this is string actually uh, just a minute so difficult for me to draw straight lines I'm sorry please bear with me alright we have this string and this string actually holds a bucket a pail of water there's some water in there and this is a vertical plane such that gravity is acting downward and you rotate this pail of water and the question is what should be the velocity by which this pail of water should be rotated or revolve you see it should go like that such that when the water reaches here when the pail of water reaches here the water does not fall down so what is V minimum at which water does not fall down at the top most position right now we know from real life experience that if you don't really uh, rotate or uh, rotate the, the the pail of water fast enough then we know that water the the pail as well as water will fall down and um, if we increase the speed after a while we'll see that we'll be able to keep the water inside the bucket and the water will not fall down so there should be a minimum speed at which the water is not going to fall down so how should we do that so the standard procedure is make a free body diagram but we'll not make this free body diagram in the frame of earth we'll make the free body diagram in the frame of water so for water, let's make water here. Water at the top is experiencing a force of gravity acting downward. Let's say mass m is the m is the mass of water, and because of motion, because of the rotation motion, rotational motion, water is also observing a centrifugal force. Right? We just discussed why we have a centrifugal force and uh, uh, the water will not fall down if mv square over r is greater than mg right if this force is greater than mg then water is not going to fall down but because we need the minimum speed we can say sh this should be equal to mg so that gives us v minimum equals square root of r g now you might be wondering what happens when m v square over r is greater than m g well in that case let's make free body diagram in that case you have 
not only mg and mv square over r but also there's a normal reaction from the top of the from the top of the bucket or bottom of the bucket here so you the water actually gets a normal reaction here because this force is pushing the water so hard that it has already overcome mg but also it is providing some force at the bottom of the pail or bucket and in return the bot the, the bucket is providing a normal reaction so this is what happens in this case when this is true well we already have discussed but let's say it again if this is true then water falls down right so this was uh, this is a standard problem and i hope it helped